Hi, Yogi. I hope you're all keeping well. I was asked by the folks at Stanford to produce a short video of a, a gentle yoga class for you all during this rather stressful time when we can't meet. For those of you who aren't familiar with me or my classes, my name is Cheryl Nonnenberg and I teach Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at Stanford Redwood City. And I normally teach a gentle yoga class and then two uh, flow classes. But this class, which will be only 30 minutes long, as I mentioned, uh, will be a gentle class and we're going to pretty much be on the floor for most of it. So as with all of the yoga classes that you take anywhere, please feel free to modify and do what you can and don't worry about anything else. If you know that you like to use some props, whether it be straps or blocks, uh, blankets, if you happen to have a bolster like we're so lucky to have at Redwood City, feel free to bring that on out. Otherwise, I'm not going to uh, demonstrate with any props for this short class. I do have my mat handy, and I would suggest that you do, and get into a quiet room like this, uh, free of distractions from the telephone or anything else, so that you can really, as always, focus on moving and on the breath. So we're going to begin in this cross-legged seat, as we usually do, and we'll inhale, arms up overhead, let palms touch ever so lightly, and come right down through the center line with an exhale. Just a reminder that yoga is about combining movement with breath. We'll pause here for a few breaths. And during this rather uncertain time that we are living in, it's a very good idea to pause a couple times a day and just take some deep, slow breaths. Just remind yourself that this too shall pass, knowing that slowing the breath calms the mind and releases tension from the body. And then we'll hinge forward, let the hands find the floor, and release the head and neck. And take some deep breaths here. Sliding the palms back towards the knees, the palms down on the knees, do some seated cat cows. Looking up on the inhale, strongly rounding back on the exhale, and let's do a few more with your breath. Bringing it back to center, we'll now do our circles, just winding the upper body around, bring yourself over your knees, make this as big or small a move as you like, and do perhaps three, maybe four in each direction. As always, what we're doing at the, in the beginning here with these initial movements is just taking stock of where we might be feeling stiff or tight this, this day. And then bring yourself on back to sit up nice and tall. And inhale the arms up once again as we did before, but this time I'm going to turn to the left, simple sage twist. I'll be gazing over the left shoulder, a few breaths here. I'll keep the body in the twist and turn my head. Now I'm gazing over the right shoulder just to get a little stretch for the neck. Exhale to release, back to center. Pause. We'll take it to the other side, inhaling up. Exhale, twist. And remind yourself that you do want to keep a nice strong spine in this twist. Don't find yourself leaning back too hard on that hand. Maybe check to see if you can lift it up, and just remain upright with the strength of your back. Turn the head now, and we'll bring it back to center. Pausing here once again for a few breaths with a nice tall spine, and if you'd like, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears and release down. This is where we want to be, where it's a little more relaxed. Now I invite you to close your eyes and drop your head to the right, Right ear towards right shoulder. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And if you'd like to add to this stretch, you know that you can bring your right hand up, rest it on the left side of the head. Don't push, just breathe. And release with breath, keeping the eyes closed 
we'll just level that chin with the floor and take it to the other side, left ear to left shoulder. Take a few breaths here. And then please bring the left hand up if you like, rest it on the side of the head. See if that results in a little bit more of a stretch for you. And release back to center. We pause here with eyes closed for a moment before dropping the chin down towards the chest and releasing any, any tightness, any stressors that you're feeling in the head, neck, shoulder area. Let it go. And if you'd like, bring the hands up, interlace fingers, and rest them behind the head. Again, you're not pushing so much as just adding a tiny bit more weight here. Inhale to rise, chin level with the floor, open the eyes, and now let the head just drop back into that hammock that you created with the interlaced fingers, just opening here, a nice open heart, open chest, and relaxed head and neck. Take it back as far as your neck will allow. And we'll release with breath. Let the palms fall down, or hands fall down onto the knees with palms up and close the eyes. And just take some time here to breathe, inhaling fully, exhaling completely. And if you'd like, slowing the breath down with intention, perhaps with a count Inhaling to the count of four, exhaling to the count of five. Continue on with your breath, please. Bring the palms together in front of the heart. Return to that natural breath, but make an intention to keep the focus, the intention on breathing slowly, mindfully through the rest of our time together. Opening the eyes, come on forward to hands and knees. And we'll continue from here to stretch, starting in our tabletop position first. Now remembering this is a pose in and of itself, so we want to have a slight engagement of the core, nice strong side body. And then walk the hands forward while keeping hips high and dropping the forehead down for extended puppy. Inhaling to rise, back to the tabletop we come, and some cat cows from this position. We did them seated. Now we're going to See how they feel from the tabletop as we inhale to open and exhale to round. And do at least three, maybe four. Again, moving with breath, feeling a nice undulation in the spine before we bring it back to center and pause here. We're going to step the right foot back, press, press, press into the floor. Getting a stretch now for hamstring and calf. And then we'll turn this into our modified side plank as we drop the foot down and inhale the right arm up. Find some length here. If you'd like to gaze up, fine. You can just look straight ahead too. Always modify for your body. We'll hold, hold, hold here. And then drop the arm over the ear to get a nice stretch for the shoulder. Feeling the length all the way down the right side body. Releasing the arm down, releasing the knee down. Pause for a breath and let's step it back to our first plank pose of the day. 
even in gentle yoga, we do want to do a few planks just to get some ab work in. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And release, knees down. We take it to the other side, stepping left foot back, really press the ball of the foot into the floor. Turn now into the, the modified side plank, reaching first. Exhale, arm over the ear. And releasing down once again. Pause for a breath here. As we now bring the knees wide, big toes touch, and exhale into child's pose. Hips to heels. Lengthen the arms, relax the head. We'll inhale the upper body up, and in order to stretch the shoulders a bit more, slide the palms back and dive the right arm under the left. Come into your thread the needle and release. Left hand plants, we bring ourselves up in between sides. Lengthen again, just for a breath or two. And bring yourself up and slide palms back. And we take our thread the needle other side. Come on down, relax. Those of you who practice with me regularly know that you can do variations on this theme. Or just stay right here. The right hand will plant. We'll bring ourselves back up. And for our last little bit in the child's pose, bend at the elbows, palms together, and behind the neck. Release with breath. Slide the hands back. And bring the knees together. We're sitting on our heels. If this bothers you, you could come off to a side if you'd like. We'll take time to do a little side stretching here. Right fingertips down, left arm up and over. Make sure you remain seated. Lift the sit bones down on the heels. Take it to the other side, please. And bring it back. Tripod those fingertips behind you. Open the heart up for a gentle back bend. And release with breath. Come on off to one side. We'll keep the left leg in as we outstretch the right, preparing for a seated tree. So the body is pointed right down the center of the mat here, but we're going to turn now towards that right leg and reach for whatever's available to you, whether it's the shin, the ankle, the toes. Great place for a strap too. Breathing here. Gives you a nice stretch for the back of the right leg, a little bit of stretch for the lower left side of the back. Another breath or two. And then walk the hands back. Our counter will be either to remain seated in a side bend or to come on up onto that left shin for the starburst pose. Release with breath. Let's take it to the other side. Same thing. Seated tree first. Start at center. Turn the body. Relax over that leg. Take whatever is available to you today. The longer we hold the poses, the more likely you'll feel a relaxation response as the body feels safe, letting some opening happen. And with an inhale, we rise. 
right hand down. Remember, stay seated if it feels great. Come on up onto the shin if you'd like and breathe. And we release with breath. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees open wide. First for butterfly pose, we're working on the inner thighs now. We'll just hinge over that space we've created, letting the head drop, relax here. Inhale to rise, and if you'd like to take that a little deeper, you can bring the feet closer in towards the body. Same thing, exhaling over, and take a few breaths for the cobbler pose. With mindfulness, bring the knees together and just squeeze in. This will be your your initial sort of a counter pose for what we just did and then take a boat pose from here hands either side of the knees bring the shins up fix your gaze if you like reach hold the feet come down the hands come behind you and take a reverse table for this, we bring the upper body up, lengthen, stretch out the abdominal area, and release with breath. Very nice, everybody. Come on down to the floor and hug your knees into your chest. Take a breath. Give yourself a hug. Thank yourself for taking some time out of your day, no matter what your day looks like now, in order to do some yoga. We'll work on hips now, coming into eye of the needle, left foot down, right ankle crosses over. You reach through and clasp behind the left thigh. A few tips here. It can help to keep the right ankle, that's the ankle that's on top, flexed so that it protects your knee a bit more. You can push that knee away with the right elbow if you'd like a little more intensity in the pose. Otherwise, sink in here and breathe. We hold the hip poses just a little longer in order to really get into all that dense connective tissue around the big joint. So breathe. Relax. Couple more breaths here. And that left foot comes down. We uncross and bring the feet the width of the mat in order to do some windshield wiper movements back and forth. We're releasing that effort. We'll take it to the other side now. So that's the right foot down, left ankle over, and reach through. Notice how it feels on this side, if it feels different. If it feels tight, just breathe into that tightness. See if you can, by relaxing the mind and relaxing the breath, create a little bit more opening in the tight area. Close your eyes, sink in. more breaths here and we release 
uncross, and do some windshield wiper movements once again. It's important to do some counter poses after all of our poses that require some muscular effort. And then once again, knees up into chest, please. We'll squeeze in for a moment and then extend the left leg out. Keep that leg active, pulling the right knee in towards the chest or right armpit. We hold here in this quad stretch. And turn it into our twist. Left hand, right knee, draw it across the body. The right arm is extended. The right shoulder is trying as best as it can to relax into the mat. It may not make contact. It doesn't matter. As long as you're feeling like you're getting a twist in the spine, because that's what we're doing here. Bring that knee back. Extend the leg up toward the ceiling. I'm going to start with a flex and a point and a flex and a point. And perhaps just hold in a nice strong flex in order to feel it all the way down the back of the right leg. We'll now bend that right knee, right hand, right shin, left hand to right foot. Pull in the foot towards the stomach. And let's release with breath a great big long and full body stretch. Feel like you are very tall, very long, lots of space in between the vertebrae. Take a few breaths. Exhale the arms down. We'll do that sequence other side now with the left knee in towards the chest. Please take it to your twist and notice how it feels on this side, if it should feel different. We exhale to release and extend that leg up, point, flex, point and flex, and then hold in a nice strong flex. And a reminder that the leg on the floor is also still active. Don't let it just fall asleep. And we hold here for a few breaths to get the maximum stretch we can. This would also be a great place to strap up. So if you're at home, you can do whatever you like. Make it feel right for you. With a exhale, we will bring that foot in, hold and breathe. And now this time, both knees up and into the chest. We'll cross right ankle on top of left and pull the feet in, getting just a little bit more of a stretch for the hip. And release and recross. Pull in, and release with breath, knees into chest, engage the core, navel the spine, and inhale the nose up to the knees. We hold in this little ball for a breath or two. Roll on down, open the arms into a T, and drop the knees to the right for another spinal twist. You know that you can look to the left if you'd like, or keep the head centered. Inhale to bring it up. Pause a breath. Take it to the other side. And inhale once again. We squeeze in, give ourselves a little hug, and then bring the feet down, soles of the feet remain together, legs open wide. Let the palms come onto your belly and take some deep, 
slow breath. And now this is a great place to remain, just relax. If you prefer to come into the more traditional Shavasana, you open your legs and let the feet just fall open. Let the arms open beside you with palms up. Take a moment to tuck those shoulder blades under, maybe lift the head and drop the head down gently. This is one alternative. You are also welcome to sit up into a seated meditation pose, or if you're at a place with a wall next to you, go ahead over for legs up the wall. That can feel really, really good on the low back. So I hope this short session proves helpful to you, and I sure hope that we will be meeting again soon. And until then, please take care of yourself, and namaste.